What is going on everybody? iOS 12, the GM just came out and I'm gonna tell you honestly, I just updated it on the iPhone 5S and dude, this phone is scorching hot right now. I don't know what the GM did to it, but this phone is like extremely hot and that is a huge difference between this and all the other iPhones I just tested because this one is like 30,000 degrees hotter. I can barely even hold it. Okay, I can hold it. Maybe I'm over exaggerating a little bit, but it is like noticeably hot. But this update, crazily enough, has been about two gigabytes, a little bit over two gigabytes, which is pretty crazy to think because I was already on beta 12 on the iPhone 5S. So if you think about it, there were so many bug fixes and so many improvements that they had to put in multiple gigabytes worth of updates into one update and fix it. Most of the updates in beta 12 were only about 10 to 20, I would say from like 50 to like 200 megabytes. Maybe some that were like 300, but for the majority, they weren't anywhere near two or two and a half gigabytes except the first one. But with this specific update, not only do we get group FaceTime, group notifications, all that good stuff, but I believe Siri shortcuts d d is actually on the iPhone 5S and iPhone 6, which is super weird to think because, as you can see, we do have Siri shortcuts. But it's weird though, because if you remember the video I made not too long ago, Craig Federici, whatever his name is, he said that there weren't going to be Siri shortcuts coming for the iPhone 5S 6 and 6 Plus. But I mean, it is here and it's kind of crazy. You are able to set up a bunch of different things. I don't really want to do it again. It seems like I'm not able to set up as much possibly. I don't know, but you can set it. So if you want to open up a certain website, when you say something, you can get it to do that and all these other sorts of things. I don't really want to go delve too much. I'll probably make a whole separate video about like the best series shortcuts and stuff like that. But the main thing I can get from this was basically bug fixes. This is what is the main premise, I would say, of iOS 12. They didn't redesign the whole entire thing. They basically wanted to make it so as soon as you boot it up on your iPhone 5S, it's a pretty seamless experience. It's a pretty good experience. And I can probably attest to that. You know, it seems like it's pretty solid. It doesn't, it seems like it's a noticeably faster than iOS 12 or iOS 11, especially the last version, iOS 11.3.1. It wasn't the best, but or iOS 11.4.1, I honestly don't remember what version it was, but this is definitely, I would say, faster than it. It's not going to be better than it yet. I mean, obviously it is better, but I think the whole seamless and glitchiness and all that, I think that's still going to be here for a little bit. I still see a little bit of glitchiness, especially on my iPhone success. Not only did my multi-core score do go down a lot and then randomly go up, but with the control center, when I pull it up, it does seem like it's a little glitchy, and I know there's going to be stuff like that on the iPhone successes or on the iPhone 5S as well. But as you can see, it seems like it's solid. It looks like an iPhone SE when, like, in terms of performance. Now, when I do play a game or something, like, you can easily tell that it's not that fast and it's fairly slow, I would say, even in PUBG or anything like that. And, but iOS 12, no iOS version is going to fix it. You know, it's a hardware problem. It's not that fast in terms of hardware, but still, if you're using basic tasks and everything, I still think iOS 12 is still very, very good on it, much better than iOS 11. So I did run a benchmark and on iOS 12, beta 12, I had a multi-core score of 64,479. So not too crazy, not the craziest thing ever. And I just re-ran it and it went down quite a bit to 59,477. Is it a humongous decrease? Kind of a little bit, I'll be honest, because when you're at this rate, when you're like every thousand points count and it did go down a little bit, but I do think the overall stability and everything and glitchiness and everything like that did go down. So there's not that much glitchiness. There's, stability has increased. So I will definitely say that I will be willing to give up those four or 5,000 points to gain back the stability. And oh, I would say, dude, this performance doesn't even seem that bad. It still seems like it's solid. So that is pretty much the whole premise of it. I will say that when you're on iOS 11 on this upcoming Monday when iOS 12 comes out, if you're on iOS 11, definitely consider updating to iOS 12. If you're one of those people that kind of wants to wait, I would say wait until iOS 12 0.1 comes out because in that case you're going to fix all the initial bugs and that's pretty much as good as it's going to get like i said no ios version is going to be perfect but at least this is going to be better than the one before and that is pretty much it guys this ios 12 run has been pretty fun but it's got to come to an end the betas are done official versions are coming now so if you guys have any questions or anything leave it down in the comment section below hit that like button but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber we get really does count so it'll mean so much if you guys can hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my second channel my low file packa that's my baby i would love it if you guys could go there and subscribe to it also check out the other links down there too my instagram my twitter please check those out if you can but more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys no fall catch you guys in the next video peace out to them